Tony, let's start off in the Chairman's Sprint Prize. You've got Computer Patch. How's the horse going into the Group 1? Well, he's definitely in very good shape. He's in very tip-top condition. I'm very happy with his condition. Uh, I think he, sh he should lead the race. Uh, I think he'll be a very close finish. So from barrier number seven, the plan is to go forward from there? Yes, Gate is very good position he is. He's for smack in the middle. I think he, it's very easy for him to dictate the race in front, you know. But there again, you know, I think Dan Smash is probably the man to danger there. I've spoken to you about this horse before and you feel, or you've said before, you think he's more of a thousand metre horse. Do you think you'll see out the 1200 strongly on Sunday? Well, that's the worry I have, you know. Uh, I think 1200 seems to be stretching him a bit. Well, we'll see on, on Sunday. In the Champions Mile, you've got Kay Ying Star. He missed the run last time out. What was the issue and how is he now, Tony? Well, you know, he had an issue called a cap elbow, which is very common on horses. And uh, it's a bad timing to have it. So he missed out that race. So he's a bit under condition, really. He won't be at 100%, but I still think he'll be in first three or four. So even with that issue, you think yes. he can be competitive yeah. then? Yeah. He looks like a pretty tough horse, Tony. He runs in lots of races and is always up there and trying very hard, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, his last run he, he missed, he should have won that race, which is a very run, slow run race. I think today, on Sunday, I reckon he should be in first four again, finish. It, there's a couple of other horses in the race that like to go forward, like Mighty Giant, like Healthy yeah. Happy. Does K right. Star have to lead? Yeah, I think he's still the fastest of them all here and uh, he would definitely lead the race. And of course, in the QE2 cap, you've got the defending champion, Exultant. He's been running well, but has he not been quite as good this season? Well, you know, as you can see, he's catching on a bit. You know, he's seven year, seven year old now. Uh, I think he's still in excellent condition. I think Time Warp is going to set a hot pace. I think which will suit him. I think he should run the first three again. What did you think of his barrier trial over 1600 oh, recently? He's showing that he's in tip top shape, that's all. And Time Warp, the old boy, how's he, Tony? Well, that's probably his last season. Um, you know, he's way over his prime time now. Uh, I think he'll still run a big, big race. Would this I mean, be... I mean, yeah, what I mean, a big race by, you know, showing his speed, showing the... Be right there in the last 100 metres. <laughs> One of the Japanese horses, Kaseki, can go forward in his races. Do well, you want Time Warp to lead at all costs? Yes, at all costs, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, for sure. Uh, just a final one with Exultant. Is he going well enough to win, or do you think the Japanese are going to be too well, strong? Definitely Japanese horses are the strongest opposition here. And I, think, uh, I, bet I still have faith and confidence in uh, Exultant. I think, I still believe he'll still put on a big fight, which is uh, distance is a little on the shorter side, but I prefer a 2400 meter race. But still at 2000 meters, he'll put on, definitely put on a big fight. And just a final one on the QE2 cap, obviously, no furore. How serious is that issue with him, Tony? Well, you know, after the barrier trial, he had an issue. He was a bit lame. Uh, it's coming from the shoulder. So I won't think it's a big issue. His, his legs are very clean. Uh, I think he needs a little break. He'll come back again. Will he come back this season or is that it? We'll, we'll see.